know what I need? More sexy time. <laughs> Can I talk to you for a minute? Can I talk to you about Tom Ka? Can I talk to you about Pad Thai? Can I talk to you about Masaman Curry? My favorite. I had no idea, well, with the exception of Pad Thai, what those other two were until while we were in Cambodia, we found a restaurant called May Katie's and we had some of their food. It was so good, so good. My favorite Thai dishes, maybe my favorite Thai dishes, or maybe my favorite dishes actually, except my mama's macaroni and cheese, of course. While we were in Cambodia, we were talking to the staff and they recommended that we actually visit some of the other locations for May Katie. Then we found out there was one in Bangkok and in Chiang Mai. Those are the two places that we were going to, so we were excited about that. They said, if you love this food, you can learn how to cook it. So that's what we did. We went to Bangkok and we signed up for one of the more popular cooking classes, and it was great. It was a half-day class, eight-course meal, and you actually learn how to cook and prepare the food. Yeah. From the chili paste to all of the favorite peanut dishes Peanut sauce, peanut sauce. Masama curry, peanut like Lucas actually mentioned. So it was good. We show up to the restaurant. They give us the traditional Thai clothes to wear. I have my popping yellow pants. I was looking fresh to death, you know. Uh, then they take you on, after you dress up, they take you on a tuk-tuk over to one of the temples. And you start off with your prayers. You see the monks doing what they do. Uh, you get to observe. Then they take you over to a market, and this is like a local market, not the tourist market, because this is tucked away in this long alleyway, and you're wearing your Thai clothes, you're walking through the market. This is where they source all their food, so all yeah. the fresh vegetables, the fish, the meats, the spices, the type of rices, and we learn the different type of rices that are cooked in different meals. Yeah. They hooked us up with some drinks, some oh, yeah. nice drinks. You know, you're drinking out of the bag, walking through the market. Uh, and then after that, you end up back at the restaurant where you start your lesson. When you turn that burner around, you hear all that sizzling, reminding me of, of my grandma's house, you know, with that grease popping. So you start there, you get ready to make your sauces and the peanut sauces, they take you through the whole process. And the chili paste as well, because that's key ingredient yeah. in a lot Major of the Major key chili paste. Yeah, so it's a process. It's not just putting together the ingredients, but how actually each ingredient is added into the, the dish. Or the instructors are excellent. They're so much fun. They had us cracking up and laughing. Mm -hmm. But they take you, they do take you through it step by step, and you realize. This isn't as complicated as it seems, and then after you make it and you get to eat it, you're like... And you don't just eat one dish. You make eight dishes, so a tip would be not to eat before you actually start this cooking class, yeah. because yeah. it starts at 9 o'clock in the morning I was and goes in my pants. to 2 o'clock oh. in the afternoon. If you're in the States, make sure to check out May Katie's in New York City, where you can enjoy vegetarian and vegan dishes. And even if you're not vegetarian, because we're not vegetarian, but no. we really do enjoy yeah, the flavors it. and just how to cook with yeah, our meat. When I go home, I'm buying a new wok. It's getting real.